Be real with me. Don't lie because you're under oath. Yeah. Uh, we are the bad guys. You are the bad guys. Why? Enough. Enough. She's powerful. You should have never let them walk out of your life when she was three. How dare you? She's Our a teenager. You need to stop saying that. She's current. How would I know that I'm going to come to the party and that I'm going to have brownies filled with marijuana? And yeah, I don't just bake for the, for the fun of it. This is not all fun and games. She's iconic. This is when the 10 year olds wear Spanx. Right. Don't get me preaching up in here today. He doesn't have any receipts stating the fact that we're responsible. That's why I'm a judge. Get ready for the verdict with Judge Hatchet. So it sounds like we're off to a great start. I was not the first one to throw a walk. Wait, 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 wait. Now, let me just tell you what you just said. I am thrilled to be back doing a new court show, hopefully inspiring people and motivating them to do good things with their lives. She was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and attributes her success to strong family ties. I am the oldest of three children. My father was the anchor, my mother was the spirited one. And so I was just enormously blessed by my parents and they put a premium on education and made sure that I got the best education. You really have to understand that growing up in the Deep South, that there were not a lot of great expectations of children like me. She will go down in history as the first African American to preside over a Georgia state court. A person that I really respected came to me and said, we really want you to go to juvenile court. I would not have done it had it not been juvenile court. And she shook up the justice system with her innovative approach to the law. Doors of my courtroom open and a precious eight-year-old child comes in and he stands there trembling. And I unzip my robe to take off my robe to come down to where he was. And the bailiff said, oh no, judge, you can't come down here. I said, you better move out of my way. This is my court room. And she's had losses in her life that she's had to overcome. My father would always tell me I could be anything that I wanted to be. Until suddenly, 22 years ago, he was gone. Um, he walked into the hospital at 9.30 that morning. And that was the moment that changed my life. Author, community leader, and sought-after motivational speaker, Judge Hatchet resonates with audiences. People stop me on the street and say, Judge, I saw that case. I believed you were talking to me. The awards are many, and her appeal is undeniable. It's always about that Jordan is not true. begging for Basically. money. No. Hey! When I'm talking, nobody else talks. The Verdict with Judge Hatchet, simply unstoppable.